Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I'm back with a what sold video from September 1st to September 15th. And I gotta say, the first week of September, the sales were really slow. I mean, it was like summer slowdown in September. So I don't know what was happening, but it started to pick up just recently. So hopefully my sales will be better the last half of the month. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, then please stay tuned. So we're gonna start off on eBay. And the first thing to sell were these Sonoma floral shorts in a size eight. I bought these new for me and they didn't fit and look right. So I basically only made $10 on them, but they did sell for $24 and 77 cents. Next thing to sell was this Knox Rose midi dress. I think you guys might've seen it in one of my thrifting hauls. And I thought it was this high end brand and come to find out it was sold at Target, but I only paid $5 for it and it sold on best offer for 30. So I'm happy with the return on that. It was a really cute dress too. So yeah, I'm glad it sold. Next item I picked up at a yard sale, I think. So I only paid a couple dollars for these and I also thought these were a high-end brand, but they are sold at Walmart. But since they're no longer available, people really like them. And I tried these on and they are so comfortable. They're more comfortable than many Tonka moccasins. And like I said, problem is you can't get them anymore. And they were too small for me. So I went ahead and sold them. And I was running a sale during the time that they sold. So the person bought them for 17% off what I had them listed for, but they, I turned $2 into $20.56. So I was really happy with that. And the next thing to sell, I picked these up at doing retail arbitrage. Um, I think I spent $5 for them. They're these Love Mood tie-dye bike shorts. I call them bike shorts, but they're actually, you know, just stretch shorts, lightweight. Use them for yoga, running, whatever. Really pretty pattern. Really soft and comfortable. So I still have one pair of these left, but the size extra large sold for $19.77. Next thing to sell was the Snow Boundaries Padded Bust uh, Cami Tank Top. I did retail arbitrage on these and bought them for myself but they were so huge that I ended up having to sell them. Even with a clip in the back, I couldn't keep them on. So they're tagged to Junior's XXL, which fits women's size extra large. I had three of them. Uh, this is the second one to sell, and it sold for my full asking price of $24.77. Oh, here's the other one. I didn't know they sold this close together. So this was the pink one. Oh, I know what it was. This one I sent out a best offer of $20. So this is the last one. But like I said, I sent out a best offer of $20 and somebody accepted and it's off to its new home. Next thing to sell, I bought months ago on Goodwill Online, a whole big sporting goods lot that I know nothing about but I want you to try to get into it. And I'm telling you what, to me, it's not worth it. I've had stuff sitting around for a long time. I mean, eventually it sells, but it helps if you know something about it. And even doing research doesn't necessarily tell you things you need to know. So these sold for a best offer. I sent out a best offer because I'm trying to unload it. So I had it listed for $14.77 and I uh, sent out a best offer of $10 and he accepted. It's just this Ken Griffey Jr. I guess he's with the Reds and it had a box of baseball cards and then a plaque. So yeah, it's off to its new home. 
Next thing to sell, I'm trying to get rid of handbags. I mean, I have so many, and it's like time to let them go. Unfortunately, I held on to these juicies long past when they were valuable. But I do have these Scotty Dog Limited Edition ones. They're red carpet. The problem with this one was the handles had some wear. And you could still carry it, but you couldn't lug books, stuff like that. So they had a little wear along the handles. And I had it listed forever, as high as probably $100. But uh, somebody sent me an offer when I had it listed for $49.77. They sent me an offer for $40. And I went ahead and accepted it because, like I said, I'm trying to move the purses. Okay, the next thing to sell, you guys might have also seen in one of my hauls. This came from a yard sale. So I bought these boots for $2.00. They're Justin Cowgirl Gypsy Boots. I thought, what a steal. Beautiful condition. So I thought, till I get them home in front of the camera. I don't know if I took, I'm sure you can, okay. I get them home in front of the camera and find out there's damage to the toe. Now that looks like a hole, but it's not actually a hole. It looks like somebody tried to repair them. So that's why I listed them so low. And even though I had them listed at $44.77, I ended up taking a best offer of $39 for these, which still is a good flip for my $2 original investment. Hopefully she likes them. They're going to Kentucky to horse country. So like I said, I'm hoping she loves them. Okay, next thing to sell was also in one of my videos, my haul videos. These I picked up at a um, yard sale for $2 also, I think, or an estate sale, one or the other. But anyway, I picked them up for $2, thought they were, you know, expensive brand, and they're also sold at Walmart. But amazingly, these sold for my full asking price of $24.77. So either they're sold out at Walmart or I don't know. But anyway, I'm just grateful for this sale, and they're off to their new home. Okay, I'll be back with the Poshmark sales. Okay, I'm back with the Poshmark sales. I only had six sales on Poshmark for the period of September 1st to through September 15th, but I have some good sales. And this is the first item I've sold that's a winter item that I didn't sell in the winter. <laughs> and it sold for $50. So I'm really happy with this sale. It's a Italian cashmere black neck scarf. It's supposed to be a man's, but you know, women can wear it too. And it's long, so you know, it can be wrapped. And that was a really good sale on Poshmark, only going $5 under my asking price. So I'm happy with that sale. I still have one left, so if anybody's interested. Okay, next item to sell I've had for <clears throat> over a year. And I bought it for myself, but I never wore it because it's too hot for us to wear here in the winter. So it was an L.C. Lauren Conrad for Kohl's. And it was this Disney Snow White embroidered bell sleeve sweater. Had the cool little appliques and it was embellished. Had the tie back. Bell sleeves. Really cute and pretty heavy weight, so... Hopefully somebody in a colder climate is going to get some use out of it. And it's sold for a best offer of $30. And yeah, I was happy to see that go. Sweaters take up a lot of space. Okay, next thing I got uh, back when Goodwill was having dollar days. So I only paid a dollar for this. And I'm not a big Calvin Klein fan, so I don't really pick it up. But because of the print, it had a floral camo print and it was the gauzy lightweight texture i thought i'd get some good money for it but no as you can see it sold on a best offer of 13 dollars but lesson learned and i won't be picking up calvin klein again next thing to sell was also picked up on dollar days so i've had it for a few months and it was this van halen tour t live nation and what happened was I was, oh, I was cutting um, something off of it near the tag. 
and it ended up cutting the tag off of it too, as you can see right here. So I just ex disclosed that in the listing and it was a size small and somebody, I think I had it listed for 25 and somebody sent me an offer for 18, which is pretty reasonable since I only paid a dollar for it. So yeah, that was sold for $18. Next thing to sell, I was overly excited about. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Did I say gorgeous? Dooney and Burke rare purple leather bag. It was completely leather, textured leather, and it came with the um, card case. Every time I wore this, I would get compliments on it because it was just so beautiful. But it had tons of defects. It had water spots on the bottom. It had scratches and stuff on the exterior and the back. But when Poshmark finally allowed more pictures than 12, I went ahead and listed it on Poshmark. Now I bought this probably three years ago on eBay, paid $49 for it and carried it, like I said, and then decided to list it on Poshmark, and it probably sold within two weeks of me listing it. And um, I sent out an offer for $150, and that's what it sold for. She loves her new bag, it's gorgeous color, and yeah, she's gonna get some use out of it. The next thing you guys also probably saw in one of my haul videos, this I bought at an estate sale. Or no, wait a minute. I bought these at a yard sale and paid $5 for them because they were basically new in the box. And I'm thinking, oh, they're gonna be worth so much money. And then I get home and do the comps on them and yeah, they're not selling for hardly anything at all. So I listed them at $50 Oh, most of the comps on these were $20, $25. So I listed these for $40 and, or for $50, and somebody sent me an offer of $40, and I gladly accepted that. Turning $5 into $40, yeah, any day of the week. Okay, I'm going to be back with my few Mercari sales. I don't know about you guys, but I'm telling you, after the great September, or the great August I had, the first part, first week of September, was like a nosedive. It was like being bipolar with real low. I mean, I hardly had any sales. Now on Macari, I only had two sales, but they were good ones or decent ones. This one was, the next one wasn't so decent. But anyway, this I bought doing Goodwill on a Goodwill auction a couple years ago, and I was gonna repair some of my purses with it, but then I didn't end up using them, so I went ahead and listed them. They're just leather replacement handbag straps, or you could probably use them as leashes or whatever. But anyway, I had them listed at $79 with free shipping, and somebody sent me an offer of $60, which I was overjoyed with since I only paid $11 for them. So yeah, that was a good sale. And the next thing to sell I've had for a long time, and it was new without tags. It was just this, um, pink chemise with black lace trim, sleep dress. And I had it listed for $25 and somebody sent me an offer of 20 and I went ahead and accepted it before I realized I had offered free shipping on it. Macari's kind of tricky that way. I mean, you know, you gotta really make sure that you've got shipping on it before you go ahead and gleefully accept these offers. So yeah, that was my last sale on Macari. I didn't show you everything I sell on eBay because I'm a couponer, so my um, personal care items and stuff like that, I don't really show in the videos because all I'm trying to recoup is the tax that I paid on them and a little bit extra. So anyway, I will be back with my numbers. Okay, I'm back with my stats. Um, I guess we'll start on eBay. I'm going to include all my eBay sales in these stats, even though I didn't show all the sales. So I sold 15 items on eBay for a total of $340.59, minus the fees and shipping discounts that I gave, which was $67.27. 
That left me with $273.32 in profit, minus the cost of goods. So on Poshmark, I had six sales for a total of $312. The fees and shipping discounts were $80.40, which left me with a total of $231.60, minus the cost of goods. On Macari, I had two little sales for a total of $80 minus free shipping and fees of 15, left me with a total of $65 minus the cost of goods. Okay, so for the total first two weeks of September, I had 23 sales across all three platforms. And the total net sales minus the cost of goods, of course, so this is before my cost of goods was $569.92. That's almost $500 down from last month, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, like I said, sales are picking up and hopefully they will continue to do so. And I hope everybody is, their sales are just popping. And yeah, I hope this keeps up going into Q4. Anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so you know when I post videos. I usually post videos twice a week. Thrift hauls, what's sold, estate sales and stuff like that. So anyway, um, hopefully you'll subscribe and hope everybody's having a great day. See you next time.